The numbers that are gathered week in and week out on the PGA Tour are so important to not only the media, but the fans. For instance, everyone wants to know how many greens in regulation did Phil Mickelson hit last week, or who had the longest drive on the PGA Tour, most likely Bubba Watson. All of that comes from this truck right here. ShotLink, powered by CDW, is the only place to get all of those numbers that go internationally. And we're about to take you inside all the action. So this is where all the magic happens. And joining me now is the Shotlink coordinator, Jason Larson. And Jason, this is such a huge process. We see these numbers go all around the world, but it seems like just a few people in here are getting the work done. Uh, yeah, more or less. We have about uh, 14 members, staff members on site each week. This room right here is our central nervous system of, of Shotlink. It's basically where we make sure everything's running correctly. I think the collaboration between CDW and the PGA Tour uh, and the ShotLink team has been fantastic and there's been all sorts of unanticipated benefits. So initially ShotLink was really designed to be a system that captured data for historical purposes, but it's now being used by players to improve their game and really figure out where to focus when they're practicing. One of the things that CDW is doing now to ensure that that kind of continues is also uh, augmenting the PGA Tour IT staff when necessary by using CDW professional services uh, as an, on an as-needed basis. What's well, the first thing I should know about your area? This is really the central nervous system here. Uh, this is the server rack. Uh, inside this rack we have some IBM servers uh, running a variety of uh, ShotLink applications that do everything from just keeping track of the scores to uh, doing all the math involved in the laser system. CDW wanted to make a big impact when, when they came in, and they did. Uh, we did some basically a complete overhaul of the server area, which was the most important part of the truck. It takes a lot of processing power and a lot of networking power to, to pull this thing off every week. CDW ensures the 256,000 pieces of data collected each week gets uploaded in real time, all collected with handheld devices and laser rangefinders. This is one of our fairway lasers that we have set up at uh, every landing area in the fairway. And what happens is a group is displayed on the GPS unit here. Once that group, a player from that group hits on the tee, a walking score hits shot hit on their device, and in turn that sends a message to our laser operator and at that point the laser operator will actually shoot this laser. They get the ball in the crosshair, they'll actually shoot the range finder at the ball. They hit enter and it's sent to our truck in seconds where they will validate it. Providing fast and accurate data around the world for the over 1.3 million shots hit each year on the PGA Tour is no small task. A team of producers validate every shot, finding solutions for every hurdle along the way. One of the examples that I would be looking at during the week is this is Sergio Garcia on 10. The walking score has said that he hit it, uh, his drive in the fairway, but our laser operators came up with it in the bunker. So my job is to find out which piece of information is correct. I can call the walking score um, on the radio or the laser operator and find out a grid coordinate, which is just they're looking at a map that's printed and we can verify it, you know, to make sure the laser was accurate. This amazing technology is nothing new for the PGA Tour team. They've been teamed up with CDW since 2008, finding solutions to every problem along the way and delivering a quality product incredibly fast thanks to CDW technology. Over the course of the last several years, we've been able to improve the fan experience by delivering data more quickly to both broadcasters, uh, the website, uh, PGATour.com, and the world, really. 